What's up everyone, this is Ollie Talk is Tech, and iOS 11.2 Beta 1 was actually just released to developers today, so today I'm going to be showing you all the new features and glitches in this beta update. Okay, so starting off this video, I'm going to be showing you an interesting glitch in the wallpaper section. So usually when you tap on the wallpaper section, it takes you directly to the wallpapers. But in iOS 11.2, what actually happens is it takes you to a page that then leads you to a wallpaper sections. And actually people are saying and reporting that they have the iPhone 8 wallpapers on older iOS devices. For example, these 6S and 6S Plus, things like that. But I don't know if it's a bug because I actually didn't get it. So... Let me know in the comment section below if you have this beta update and if you have the wallpapers. But one of the cool changes is that rather than saying the word back in settings and subcategories, it now says the category that you just previously were in. So for example, if you're in general, it now says settings and it'll take you back to the main settings panel. So I think it's pretty interesting just in case you forget where you are in iOS, you can always look up there and see, oh, if I tap that, that's the next page I'm going to be in. So in the control center, if you go ahead and force press on the music app you'll now see that the rounded corners on the music icon are actually more squared and boxy than they usually were so for example this is the previous beta update you can now see what it currently is also i have reduced motion turned on and you can see that there is a new animation when force pressing on any of these panels so i think that's pretty cool I like the new animation and it just seems a lot more fluid. Okay, so next up, many users were reporting that they were having issues with the calculator. So for example, if you type in 1 plus 1 plus 1, usually the calculator would have a result of 3. But the glitch was it wouldn't register that last plus button. So what would happen is if you type in 1 plus 1 plus 1, what would end up happening is it would register that last plus as an 11. So it would see 1 plus 11 and you get 12. So if you type in 1 plus 1 plus 1, you get 12. So that's been fixed. Also, they added the feedback app back in iOS 11.2 beta. They also fixed the power button. When you double click, it now won't turn off immediately. I actually like this. A lot of people don't, but I actually end up tend hitting this button on accident so i like to click it again really fast to make sure my phone doesn't turn off but usually it would lock but now it doesn't turn off when you tap it immediately also whenever i click the volume up button usually i hit the power button and my phone turns off but that was actually a bug so it's been fixed so now when you press the volume up button and the power button your phone won't lock a new change that i really like is the multitasking page is so much faster and more fluid it's so smooth when i double click the home button and it's so responsive so i really like that apple's adding more and more support for the older devices and making performance better. So overall in this update, I gotta say everything's pretty fluid. Performance is great. This is probably one of the more stable updates. So I would highly recommend updating to this, especially if you're a student, if that calculator app really bugs you. But before I end this video, something I want to mention is this video took a total of four minutes to record the actual video, meaning my iPhone was only on for a total of four minutes. You can see my battery's at 49% at the end of this video. And at the beginning of the video, it was at 64%. I hope I don't have to have this issue with Apple again. I hope they fix the battery again because it used to be good the past two betas, but I don't know what's going on in four minutes. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.